Live with Ginger Gadsden, Lisa Bell, Julie Broughton. Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Sorrells and Meteorologist Candace Campos. This is News 6 at 4, getting results. Musicians, singers, everyone but Lisa, listen up. <laughs> we have a great opportunity to tell you about. Uh, whether you're new or dusting off your instruments, all skill levels are welcome. A former band director is recruiting talent for a unique community music program. News 6 insider guy Crystal Moyer has more on what this band is all about and how you can be a part of it. It's part of a nonprofit organization, Music to My Mind. For the past five years, the organization has been providing services to help promote musical education in local classrooms. Now the organization is branching out, creating a community music program where students and neighbors can come together to share their love of music. Right now we are in recruiting mode, so if you play an instrument or you sing and want to be involved, the ultimate goal is to bring people together of all ages, of all levels, for the goal of making music. Again, high school students, through professionals, through educators, through you know your normal everyday community citizen. Frank Taylor was a band director at local schools for 13 years. When I left teaching full-time in the classroom, I wanted to reach a broader audience. Partnering with the city of Apopka to launch its first community music program. We're gonna be offering three ensembles, a community choir, a community jazz band, and a community symphonic band. While practices will take place here at the Apopka Community Center, the music program is open to all Central Florida musicians and singers, whether you're a new musician or a little rusty. If there was a theme to all of this, it's putting unity in community. Taylor hopes the ensembles will get the full experience attending community events and performing throughout Central Florida, even honoring veterans. With this partnership, we will actually be forming the first official chapter of TAPS for Veterans in the entire country, and it'll be based right here in Central Florida. Um, veterans have always had a very special place in my heart. I come from a military family. Um, we have so many veterans that, uh, you know, retire in the Central Florida area, and there's always that need for, you know, trumpet players and buglers to play for those special occasions, not just uh, Veterans Day and Memorial Day, um, but, you know, when that time comes, you know, to play for funeral services. Rehearsals for the community music program begins March 13th. Practices will be Sunday evenings. For more information on the community music program and how to sign up, you can head to clickorlando.com slash insider. Taylor says there is a membership fee starting at 50 bucks, but if money is a problem, he says all you have to do is let him know and he will figure it out with you, ladies. I love that, putting the unity in community. Yes, we have all so many, ages. Absolutely, and we have so many talented people here in Central Florida, as we know, so I yes. bet that's mm -hmm. going to blow up. I hope absolutely. it does. Yeah. Oh, can't wait to follow that. Mm -hmm.